If your computer keeps showing this error screen, which says preparing automatic repair, then runs for some time and ends up on this blue screen, then this video is for you. This problem can happen for various reasons, including hardware or software related issues. In this video, I'll walk you through all the proven steps to resolve it. So let's get started. First, click on advanced option. From there, click troubleshoot. Then advanced option. Click startup repair and see if that can resolve your problem. But if not, then click on command prompt and follow my guide. First of all, type SFC space right slash scan now and press enter key. This command will check the system files and if there are any problems, it will repair them. After it's done, again type chk dsk space right slash f space c then column sign and press enter key. This command will check your hard drive or SSD for errors and possibly repair them. Now our third command boot rec space forward slash fix mbr and press enter. Again boot rec space forward slash fix boot then enter. Here sometimes you get access denied but don't worry just proceed. Again boot sec space forward slash nt60 space sys then enter. After that, close the window and click continue and check if the problem has been resolved or not. If not, there are two things I would suggest you do. 1. Come back here again to the command prompt and type mdsched and press enter. After that, this window will pop up and we can check RAM problems with this command. So here, we will check for RAM problems. So let's click on restart now. After that, this screen will appear which says Windows Memory Diagnostic 2 and you should wait for it to check if your RAM have issues. This will take some time so you need to be very patient. After the RAM test, if there are no issues, then come back again to this advanced option that says choose an option and click on troubleshoot. Then advanced options. Then start up settings and click restart. So from there, this startup settings screen will show up and you will need to press a number from your keyboard to choose an option. I want to enter into save mode so I will press 4 from my keyboard. And wait patiently until you come to this black screen that says save mode. So first of all, come to search and type this cleanup. and click on it. Then click OK. After that, this window will show up and what this will do is to remove all junks and unnecessary files that may affect the stability of your Windows operating system. So here, you will need to select all the temporary files like these ones. And in case you do not need your deleted files in the recycle bin, then check that too. After that, click OK and click delete files. This will delete all the junk files and catchy files that can affect your Windows operating system. From there, again right click on start and click run. Now type msdt.exe space dash id space device diagnostics and click ok after that this will open up hardware and devices and click advanced and ensure there's a tick on apply repair automatically then click next from there you select the problem you wish to fix and click next
Again, depending on the problem, you either get fixed now or enable an option. In my case, it is enabled because it seems Windows is not currently configured to be able to check for updated drivers. So I will click on enable. And you can see the problem is fixed. From there, if your problem was fixed, you can click yes and after close the window. Again, come to your search and type control panel and click on it. From there, click on Programs and Features and you will see all the programs installed on your computer. In case you install any programs before you started experiencing the blue screen error, then you can only install the programs from here. But in case it's an update you downloaded and installed for your Windows operating system, then you click View Install Updates. In here, all update files will show. So you will just have to uninstall that update you think you installed before you had a problem. After I close the window and restart your PC and see if that resolves your problem. If not, then come back to this advanced options again and click on troubleshoot. Then advanced options. Then system restore. Here if your windows have a system restore point created. Then I can assure you that this method will definitely fix the problem. What this option will do is to restore your computer to an earlier date when it was working fine. And don't worry, this process will not cause you to lose any of your files or data. Simply click next. Then choose your most recent restore point. And click next again. Then select yes and wait for the process to complete. This may take some time, so please be patient. But if not, then come back again to this advanced option and click on troubleshoot. Then from there, you can try to reset your PC. So here, click on reset the PC and you can choose either to keep my files or remove everything. If you choose to keep my files, there are two options. Option 1 is to reinstall your windows using the cloud download. And the other option is to use the local reinstall. With the cloud download, you might need an internet connection which will download files and reinstall your operating system automatically. But with the local reinstall, you might need to reinstall your windows using a device like bootable USB flash drive or any compatible device. But I would suggest you use the cloud download because this will give you an updated windows reinstallation for optimal system performance. Finally, one last thing I'll suggest you do is the power drain. What this will do is to reset your computer's motherboard and this can solve many compatibility problems. Sometimes this process can even solve the problem of a dead computer if the motherboard capacitors are overcharged. So what you have to do is to remove your laptop CMOS battery. As well as the main battery. After that, press and hold the power button for about 30 seconds to 1 minute. From there, wait for an extra 3 to 5 minutes and put everything back together and try again. So that's all for this tutorial. I'm very sure one of these tips will fix your problem. If not, please kindly contact me through the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But before that, Please watch this video on your screen that shows you how to create a system restore point on your Windows computer. Creating a system restore point can help you to easily prevent most blue screen problems that may occur in the future. So if you found this helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe. On this note, I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.